MDTV. Right, this is a little bit of a... Um, I don't know what to say about these. Um, I'm certainly not casting any aspersions as to, uh, in any form or shape because I've actually got more questions than I've got answers. Um, we've had a couple of these come back to us now. And when I say come back, I mean come to us because people have decided that they want a, a mobility scooter um, and they actually bought uh, one of these. They come in three and four wheel. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Um, but... There are one or two issues that we actually have as a company that we're a little bit concerned about. The prices are okay and that's why people think that they're, they're a good thing. They're certainly very, very fast. And if actually that's, that's really the beginning of the problem is because a mobility scooter has to do no more than 8 miles an hour. It also has to have an electronic uh, braking system where you don't actually have to grip a brake or put your foot on a pedal of a brake, it automatically stops when you let go of the lever. This doesn't do that, you've got a handbrake, you've also got a twist throttle which isn't the sort of thing that, 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 that we would look to put on a mobility scooter. It works for some people because of arthritis and this sort of thing, so you know it is a, it is a, a thing that we have done uh, for people where they can twist the, twist the grip but they can't pull with the fingers. So. Yet again, not having a go of it. They say that they're road legal. They are in the respect that they've got lights, they've got indicators, they've got brakes. Um, but yet again, they're in a speed bracket where on the road, where because they're also doing 16 miles an hour or thereabouts, it's a little bit like the electric, electric mountain bikes that people have. They're actually allowed to do 16 miles an hour, but they've got pedals. So therefore, because they've got pedals, they're actually classed as a moped. I don't really know where this is classed um, as a vehicle. It's definitely going to be a leisure vehicle um, at best. And if it's a leisure vehicle, you're not really allowed to use them in public. So yet again, another question. The other thing is they're advertised as a mobility scooter. And they say from that that you can actually sign your VAT exemption for and not pay any VAT. Yet again, I don't really know whether that's, that's correct or not. The bottom line is, because I'm not going to say any more about it, is we have now come across two people who have bought these and come back to us to buy a mobility scooter because they didn't feel too safe on one of these. They were also a little bit worried about the, the quality of the vehicle. The switching is certainly very complicated for somebody who just wants a mobility scooter. So, not having a go, don't know whether, whether it's a, a thing or a good thing or a bad thing. It might take an accident uh, where somebody gets hurt hopefully not killed it's but it's possible if you get because they, they're so fast and the take off in speed is, is immense so not having a go just wanted you to be aware that this has happened to us on a couple of occasions now so if you're thinking about buying one of these please 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 try one before you buy one if they won't let you do that just don't buy one but it's up to you um, it's just hopefully a public service announcement that uh, makes people aware of something that's out there that we aren't sure about. We will not be selling these. This one, um, it'll, it'll be parked up somewhere. We just won't sell it. You know, we certainly won't sell it as a mobility scooter. But the world's a funny place at the time, at this moment in time. And on that note, I hope everybody stays safe um, and we'll be back shortly. Thank you.